Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Ashley Shelley planner open box as well as a pen test for you guys. I actually just got this bad boy in the mail. Uh, this company reached out to me and wanted to know if I would be willing to just take a look at their planner and share my thoughts. So I thought, sure, why not? I have my trusty scissors here today and let's open this thing. I will leave all of the like linked information below for you guys too. Um, to be completely honest, before they reached out, I had never heard of this brand. Um, I'm just kind of more of a Erin Condren gal. Oh, look at this, it has my name on it. Ooh, secret notes, I like it. Okay, so in my secret love note here, it says that um, I can share a code FAVE5, so F-A-V-E-5, for $5 off a signature 2018 planner. It will expire on December 31st of 2017, so I will leave all of that information in the description below. But yeah, I'm kind of pumped about this. Ooh. I like the purple. And if I remember, if I remember right, looking on their website, um, they had mostly things that had purple and then like this turquoise color. So let's get rid of this guy. And uh, all right, well here's like where you can follow Ashley Shelley on Instagram. So there we go. And it comes in a nice little cello bag. Urgh. So much packaging, but you know, it's so it doesn't get ruined. And I really like, um, just like first and foremost, okay, hold on, let me zoom you guys in a little bit. And I'm sorry about the lighting. It's just like so dark and dreary out the last few days here in Minnesota. It's been kind of crazy. But anyways, um, I really like the corner reinforcement, especially like with these hardbound covers. It's just, you know, these get like smashed so often that it's nice to have that reinforcement. So anyways, this is 2018, their new planner launch. And then let's just walk through it because I've, you know, never seen one of these before because these are their new ones. Um, there's a nice little pocket folder in there, which is cool. It comes with this all bound in, and this is one of those little zipper pockets for things, and there's some stickers in here, so let's open that up. Come on. Ooh. It's kind of like the same colors that they go with, so it's just one sheet of stickers. Very cute. I'll leave this right in here. And then you just kind of press it down like a Ziploc bag. It's kind of nice. And the first page it says this planner belongs to, and then you can write your name. It's just pretty good um, paper. I will be doing a pen test as well. And another cool thing is it has these little perforated edges, which is probably kind of hard to see. Hold on, let me see if I can zoom you guys in so you can see it a little bit better. Hold on here, hold on. So these are these little perforated edges. So as you go throughout the year, you can actually just, I'll take the first one off. Hold on. You can take these little guys off. So then you'll know, like mark your spot. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of neat. All right, zooming you guys back. Nope, not in Emily, out. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so let's see. So then you get some tips from Ashley as to you know what's in here. That's really neat. And then an inspiration board where you can draw or write or you know put little pictures or something. And then some contact information, favorite meal ideas. That's kind of nice. Maybe some all the hits from 2018 of things you've tried. Um, we got an overview page from January to December. A yearly overview, oh this is nice for 2018 and 2019. And then all the 2018 holidays for the US. Cool. All right, and then the ones that are on like these little tabbed pages are like really thick. Like not even cardstock thick, like thicker than cardstock. Like it's really thick. But anyways, okay, 
so this is a little bit more, um, like I looked on their website before I communicated back and said, sure, this would be fine. Um, but this is like more, I feel like of a simplified planner, but um, you know, definitely you can like decorate this stuff too, but I, I really like the overview page and then there's a little note section on the left and then you can look behind. So this is like December and then this is January, January, well, this is January into February. So I like that you can see the month behind and then the month ahead of the month that you're currently playing in. And then um, you have like a little word of the month and a bunch of other things. So, you know, what creates happiness in your life? Say no, like say what you're not going to do this month. What do you want to create this month? Routines and habits, goals, special dates, and then the monthly bucket list. This would be great for someone that just really wants to stay on task with certain things or your family. Um, some notes pages. And then this gets into the day. So again, this is just more of a simplified thing where it has like a little, these are like little colons right here. So you can put like 6 a.m. wake up, 9 a.m. work, 7 p.m dinner with parents or like whatever you want to do. And then um, like your to-do list for the day. So that's really kind of a neat thing. And I like that the notes are like at the top. A lot of these planners um, have the notes like down here at the bottom. So it's kind of nice to just have them up at the top because usually your notes are things that you just like need to take care of that aren't on a specific day, which is kind of cool. And then I think, yeah, so then you have all of your pages for the month they're all the same and then you go into your next month very cool all right well they're all gonna be the same so i'm not gonna like get too far into it but let's go to the back of december and see anything if there's anything else i don't i don't really know all right so we're at the end of december and then okay so now start some notes pages it looks like a bunch of notes pages. So there is, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten notes pages in the back. But you do have notes pages at the very beginning of every month as well, which is kind of nice. So you've got two notes pages, which is kind of cool. But anyways, I think I'm gonna use one of these for the pen test because that's what we all wanna know, right? Like we all wanna know if my favorite pen bleeds through. So let's get this bad boy started. And just recently, this is my little like Target bag that I got a while ago. Um, just recently, I had purchased a whole bunch of different pens specifically for pen testing and marker testing. So I'm gonna break all of those guys out and then I will um, be back in just a second because it's gonna take a minute to get through this whole bag. So I'm normally a team black kind of a gal with my pen testing, but I do have some blues as well. So I figured I would do a blue page and a black page and um, yeah, let's just go from there. But let me zoom you guys in because I know everybody likes to see the things a little bit closer. There we go, there we go. All right, maybe I should organize these a little bit better. Okay, so we're gonna go from like regular pen to like a marker because this paper is nice, but I'm pretty sure that it's gonna bleed through with some of the markers. But we'll start with the pens first. This is my ultimate favorite Papermate Inkjoy gel pen. This is the 0.5. I believe you can get them in a 0.7 as well. Um, I'll leave a link below to these because these are my favorite things. Also, uh, the link below will be for these. These are the Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent Pens. Um, they're not pens, they're actually markers. I'll get to this one soon, but these are my favorite ones that I use in my regular, like daily life and also my weekly planning. So let's get into the pen testing. I 
this paper is actually quite satisfying to write on. All right, next up is the Pilot G205. You know, I used to be a team pilot person, and I don't know, something about it. It's just like, it's just like grainy to write on now. I don't know, it's just not my bag. All right, so here is the Jelly Roll. Oh, do I have a, no, okay. That one's kind of satisfying to write with. To be honest, I've never written with that one before. Uh, next up is uh, the Le Pen. Which actually is like a porous tip, it feels like. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, next thing is this uh, Stabilo. Stabilo, 0.88, and it's a fine 0.4. I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I got all this stuff for pen testing and I really, to be completely honest, haven't used it until now. So you guys are seeing the first inaugural pen testing. That's kind of satisfying to write with. And it's like very nostalgic with the uh, kind of like pencil grooves on it. All right, next up is the Sharpie pen. And then comes into, oops, and then comes into some of the permanent marker looking things. More the porous tip ones. I mean, some of these are porous anyways. This is the Micron 03. Something about this, and I got this actually as like a giveaway a long time ago. Something about this, I just don't like this. And I know some people are like obsessed with these Pigma Micron um, marker pen things, and I just can't, I just can't get into it, you guys. <laughs> I wish I could. Here's my other staple that I love. It's the Pilot Ultra Fine Permanent. Oh, I just love the way that writes. And then the last porous tipped one that isn't like, I'm gonna do a Sharpie marker too because you know, why not? Um, is the Paper Mate Flare, an oldie but a goodie. And then the last one in the black is just going to be a plain old Sharpie. Okay, and then might as well do the blue ones as well. Let's move this up a little bit and we'll grab the blue ones. Let me organize them a little bit better. All right, so the first one I have in the blue is gonna be the Paper Mate Inkjoy Gel in the point seven. And this is the navy color. I also have another color right here, which is more of a royal blue. And this one's the 0.5, but still the same brand. So that's the royal color. Oops. Also with the jelly rolls, I do have, this one is more of a navy color. And then I also, whoa, man down. <laughs> I also have more of a royal as well. All right, I put the cap on this one the proper way. And we also have a Le Pen. 
So far, I like this color the best on the paper, but again, I'm not like big into to the blue. And this is another one of those Stabilo, Stabilo. Can you guys tell me how to say this? Cause I have like no idea. Please leave it in the comments. That one's kind of satisfying to write with as well. And then we have, whoops. And then again, I have another one of those microns. This was one of those giveaway situations. All right. And then we've got the Paper Mate Flare. Something about a paper mate, or it's like really satisfying to write with. I feel like you can be like kind of aggressive with it. And then this is the Pilot Ultra Fine. So that, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so that is all of the pen stuff. So let's look at the back side and then we'll go from there. All right, so as we look at kind of the black category up here, really the only one that's popping through is one of my faves, the Pilot Ultra Fine Point. And then obviously the Sharpie, which is like no shocker there. There's a little bit of shadowing on, let's see, that Stabilo one, which is the one that's right here. And really that's it. Um, the Paper Mate Flare also has a little bit of shadowing, I feel like, but all in all, this paper's pretty good, you guys. Um, okay. So then let's look at the blue section, which the blue section actually starts right here, which you can't really see, but it starts right there. Um, the only one, so this one right here is the Le Pen right here. It does have a little bit of shadowing, I think, because I was a little heavy handed when I put my like line for the L. Um, because it's not showing any shadowing at all on the black. I think that was just my bad. And then also, no shocker here, but the Pilot Ultra Fine on the very bottom, um, that one bled through a little bit as well. But that's to be expected, especially when it did it in the black as well. But really all of these pens would be great on this paper, to be completely honest. So whatever you guys like, I think, I think, any of this stuff would work. So anyway, that is the pen test. Hope you guys enjoyed that, but I don't know, I just, I love a good pen test because that's really the catalyst of the paper and you just want it to be like good quality paper, especially if you're gonna have the thing for the whole year, you know what I mean? So I don't know, I really like that. And I remember going onto the website, there are a couple of different designs that you can get in the Ashley Shelley brand. Um, like I said, they all kind of have similar tones where it's like the grays, the turquoise, and the purples. Um, but I think there's something to kind of fit everybody's styles, to be completely honest. Again, I will link the information down below where you can get this planner if you're interested. I think it's a really interesting layout. Um, you know, kind of more task oriented, which this would be great for work. It would be great for someone that's a little bit more simplistic in their planning. I didn't look at the website as to the price point before filming this video, but there is also a code for the $5 off as well. So hopefully that helps some of you guys out if you are interested in purchasing this planner. But anyway, that is gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really, really appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them down below and I will get back to as many of you as I can. Again, like I said, all the information for Ashley Shelley's website will be down below for you guys as well as that coupon code. And if you guys have uh, purchased Ashley Shelley products in the past or are currently using an Ashley Shelley planner, let me know in the comments. I'd be really curious to know. But anyways, I am gonna jet. Feel free to thumbs up the video if you liked it. Also, feel free to subscribe. I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new content for you guys at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I will just see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.